Hello, everyone. Welcome to our kitchen. I'll be making a special flavor pork ribs today. I learned this dish a few years ago on a trip to Chengdu. It was a popular item in a top flight restaurant, aka hole in the wall restaurant. It's marinated, fried, and finally tossed in a wok with spices. It has multi layer of flavor. I'm using a rack of baby back ribs, cut into individual pieces. The ribs need to be washed in cold water and soaked for one hour to get rid of most of the blood in the bones. Then I'm going to use paper towel to dry each rib and try to squeeze the moisture out of the ribs as much as I can so they can absorb the marinade better. To marinate the ribs, I'm using one tablespoon of ginger, two tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of honey, and one teaspoon of uh, white pepper. Rub the ribs to get an even coating of marinade and let them marinate for at least 30 minutes. While we wait for the ribs to be marinated, let's prepare some of the spices for the final tossing. I'm going to chop up some Thai chilies, 3 to 5 depending on your taste. Slice some garlics and chop up some scallion as well. Also, I'm going to mix 1 teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorn powder and 1 teaspoon of cumin powder. If you like extra kick, you can add some chili powder as well. Once the ribs are ready, they need to be coated with a layer of flour to help seal in the moisture and create the crispy surface. I'm going to fry the ribs twice. First time using medium heat to fry the ribs for 5 to 7 minutes to fully cook the ribs. Once you can poke into the ribs easily, it's ready. Take the ribs out of the oil, clean up the oil, and put it on high heat. Flash fry the ribs for the second time for about 30 seconds to get the crispy surface. Don't crowd the pan, so you may want to fry the ribs in two batches. Take the ribs out of the pan and put on a paper towel to drain off the extra oil. In a clean wok or pan, add one tablespoon of oil, heat it with medium heat, add the chili, garlic, and half of the scallions, cook them for 30 seconds to extract the flavor into the oil. Put in the ribs and toss them over medium heat for one minute. Turn off the heat and spray the cumin and peppercorn powder for more tossing. I turned the heat off because the powder would be burned easily and create bitter taste. Finally, add the rest of the scallion, toss a few more times, and it's done. The ribs have a very nice fragrance when you smell them. Once you bite into the crispy surface, all the spices will be blended in with the sweet and savory meat, creating a final complex flavor. I hope you will enjoy this with your friends and family. Thank you for watching. See you next time. If you like our cooking, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for our weekly updates.